All right. Today, which is the June the 9th, ninth, we are heading to Alaska. We uh, we spent the last few weeks in the, the national parks uh, area in uh, Canada, just getting ready to leave Jasper. So we got a long way to go, but we're excited for the journey. Yes, we should be on the Alaskan Highway today at some point. Hey everybody, we are in Beaver Lodge, uh, Alberta, I think. Mm -hmm. We're still in Alberta. Um, and we're at the giant beaver, as you just saw. This thing was resurrected back in, uh, it started back in February of 2004. It's just a tourist attraction to bring, uh, bring people to this town and what well, brought us. <laughs> Look up, Jesse. Shit's too high for her. She don't even see it. We ended up just staying in the parking lot that night of the giant beaver, along with several other big trucks. Well, we're on the road again. It is June 10th. We just left Beaver Lodge. It is almost seven o'clock, about 10 till seven in the morning. And we are driving into a lot of heavy smoke, as you can see. There's a couple big wildfires we're gonna have to drive past, so hopefully the roads aren't closed. We haven't heard anything about them being closed yet, but the fires are getting pretty close to the road. So we wanted to get an early start and uh, try and get past them. So uh, most of the footage from here until we're past the fires is gonna be pretty smoky. Stewie's Diner. 
one of them old boxcar diners, shiny silver ones. in the morning well actually it's seven o'clock in the morning here we uh, gained another time town hour. another hour <laughs> <laughs> and we are starting the highway starting the Alaskan highway mile zero mile marker zero today officially starts the Alaskan trip What do you think about Jesse? Jesse, you did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe we're here. We have watched video after video after video of this for four or five years, planning, hoping, wishing we could make it. And we are here. So, what, what do you think? I think I'm ready. Let's get on this thing. Let's get you get on the road? Huh? I said get on the road. Let's get on the road. Let's go to Alaska. North to Alaska. Okay, I know I'm not going to say this right, but we are at the Kiskitanaw Bridge, which is part of the old Alaskan Highway, Alaska Highway, and it is the oldest wooden bridge. It is now closed. We are no longer allowed to drive on it, which I believe they just closed it within the last year or two because we've watched videos where people have actually driven their campers across this 
So we are on one of the oldest wooden bridges. I'm not sure if it is the oldest, but I know it is one of the oldest wooden bridges. On the old Alaska Highway. Can you imagine driving over this? I don't know if they're going to reopen it or not. What do you think? Amazing how they did that. Pretty cool, isn't it? Wooden curved bridge. Underline that. Yeah. It'd be cool if they restored it. Yeah, it would be. Doesn't look like they're going to. Okay, we are on the old Alaska Highway. We just went down to the Kiskanaw Bridge, the old wooden bridge, and just wanted to let everybody know that you can drive all the way down to the bridge. There is a little uh, turnaround there that we were able to turn around in without unhooking. We are in a Class C towing a Gladiator, Jeep Gladiator truck, which is our total is about 56. No, about 53, 54. about 53 54 foot long and we were we were able to just turn around there and that it's a closed road but you can pull in a little bit and turn around so like I said we're about 53 54 foot long and uh, so just so you know you can drive all the way down to the bridge and there were people boondocking down there so if you're small enough or feel comfortable enough you can boondock down there but it is on the old Alaska Highway Getting closer to the fires. Smoke's getting thicker. Still on the Alaska Highway. If you post that, I'm gonna be Well, we are at a tire shop in Fort Nelson, Canada. We're at Tirecraft, Tirecraft Auto Center. Uh, we have a flat spot on our front passenger tire. We noticed a lot of uh, wobbling and shaking when we got to a certain speed. So uh, we stopped to get gas and he checked it and uh, Jesse's with me. We're in the truck waiting. But uh, he checked it and there was a flat spot on the tire called these guys they said we have that size bring it on over it was basically across the street and got us right in so they are uh, gonna hopefully get it all taken care of here within the next few minutes and we'll be hopefully back on the road so we'll see well what'd they say we need two front ones two yeah because the other one i didn't see it but once we uh once i pulled up and i saw and said that one's no good and i'm thinking no, well, that one, I didn't see that. So. <laughs> that ain't even the one we were talking about. Yeah, so they're, get, they're getting two new tires, and then they don't do alignments. He said it looks like the front end might be out of line a little bit. And said, um, and everything's closed today. So when we get to Whitehorse, we'll have to find a shop to align it. So, but it is what it is. Yeah. So, part of, how long they say it take? About a half hour. Oh, great. Yeah, they they got like three guys over there. Cool. So. All right. So unexpected 
It happens. It happens um, yeah. But we plan for it. Well, I mean, we, these tires was done two years ago before we did the big trip out west. So mm -hmm. they they had you know some mileage on them. So we'll see what happens. So, All right. Hopefully that's it. Hey, we're back on the road. We had about an hour hiccup. Uh, a hiccup, but they we got into tire craft. We called them up. They said they got us. Uh, they took about an hour to, to get the front tires replaced. Uh, and we're back at it. Now, we will still have to stop and get in line. They didn't do that there, but the guys at uh, tire craft did an awesome job. They were very friendly and helpful. So. So now we're we're heading hopefully to Muncho Lake, and uh, when we get to Whitehorse, we're gonna try to find a uh, tire company that can do the front end alignment just to make sure we don't tear up these tires. So all, right. all is good. <laughs>
another one over here on my side. Yeah. See? I know, but that's cool too. Good morning. It is June 11th and it's about nine o'clock in the morning and I just wanted to show you all where we stayed at last night. We are in Muncho Lake Providence Park. Uh, we couldn't get into either one of the campgrounds so uh, we found a pull off along the lake and there was a bunch of other campers here so we pulled in and let me show you what it looked like. This is walking out our door. It's a little windy this morning. Traffic's a little loud. But after about 11.30 last night, we heard no traffic. Look at this view. Is this not gorgeous? We sat here last night, had our dinner. Relaxed. Down there you can see some mountains with the snow on them. It's just beautiful. The sun set right over there, but then about 11 o'clock last night, well, it didn't set, it went behind that mountain. Then about 11 o'clock last night, I looked out and sky back there was the sunset. It was beautiful orange and yellow and reflecting on the lake it was just beautiful so yeah this was our spot last night muncho lake i'll show you a little bit of the pool off here we did have to use our blocks we couldn't get level there was people behind us and another one down that way this morning they're gone so yeah we just uh came in this pool off here. So, pretty nice. We were happy with it. And it's free. Always makes it better. So the next day before we headed out, we wanted to go back down to the beginning of Muncho Lake and get some footage because it is just such a beautiful drive around this lake. Hope you enjoy. video together I'll put it to that song what's a, a macho man I'll put it to macho man
All right, guys, this is where we're going to end this video. We truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. Also, leave us a comment below and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with us. And watch for our next episode where we hit the Laird Hot Springs and Watson Lake Signpost Forest. Remember, life's a blessing. So enjoy the journey.